this yes um, great news for all my fellow um techno fans and burger and aficionados is back open the club garden specifically is back open and i'm excited over the moon jubilated um i think i actually spotted it over the weekend no over the last couple of no last day yesterday yeah i spotted it over yesterday i kind of checked their website incrementally just here and there to see what new listens get popped up especially considering all the open air parties are happening this friday and the following kind of weekends and stuff you know it's really going off over there in berlin so it kind of stood out to me it was only a matter of time before they open up the garden i've never actually been in the garden itself if i'm completely honest i think i've maybe seen it from the inside there's a little smoking area bit near the stairwell where i think the garden may be if i'm not mistaken um i've kind of seen that a few times here and there but i've never actually been in it so this is the opening night for the garden night it's going to be on the 10th of july so this saturday um you've got etap cow of course resident freddie k and paramita playing in the garden from what is it 1 p.m i'm assuming to 10 p.m i think that's where most of the nights in the garden are going to end there's a few other great ones there's a good yansa night with uh steffi and virginia playing back to back like loads of pretty decent ones um going forward but let's read the article itself because you have ra it says bergen garden is back Bergen is reopening its garden this weekend scheduled from 1pm on Saturday and Sunday the outdoor parties will be the first at the Berlin Club in more than 9 months 9 months so if it feels like long for time for me being a um, being a foreigner and being a tourist imagine what it must feel like for people that go there on a weekly basis man crazy innit the firm acts include Freddie K Paramita Ben Clock and Gabriel Wartank the Bergheim website also lists um, the club garden events for the following weekend highlights include Fidel um, Fidel sorry Gerd Janssen Steffi Batback of Virginia to enter Bergheim this weekend attendees must show proof of vaccination or have tested negative in the past 24 hours the website states that the muffed um, mouth and nose must be covered on um their own medical F ffp mask in the queue entrances and area and entire club garden the club will also only open in good weather so there is a lot of restrictions obviously in place before you can obviously enter it's probably not worth it to go especially especially if you haven't been before and you're somebody you're a foreigner i guess it's not probably worth the travel to go there just so you can go and party with a mask on outdoors you probably might as well just do that at home or wherever you're at um listening to this but in terms of getting back into the swing of things it definitely does mark um the start of clubs slowly but surely reopening i think softly but surely that when the german restrictions get lifted one by one you'll start seeing dancing being loud indoors and then clubs will start to reopen but there's a lot of kind of beer gardeny open airy kind of parties happening over the weekend and it's just great to see man it's great to see that people are going to be able to dance again um you know unplug from all the horrors of the world for a couple of hours or for a few hours and just kind of let loose that's basically the name of the game in it and for myself i'm thinking most likely to go from september onwards i think that's probably the best time for me to go out and attack that sort of night um i think i'm probably it's best to do that from then on and i'm hoping by then the dance floors are reopened so that i can do my regular kind of yearly jaunt out there um something that i've kind of done for the best part of what maybe more than five to six years i've kind of gone yearly before that it was kind of like every other year but you know considering how cheap the flights are especially now i just checked the other day actually um a flight that i wanted to take from like you know let's say like the friday to the monday which is definitely a good time to go you try and leave friday night or friday morning try and get back friday after monday afternoon after you've kind of left usually you take your luggage with you to Bergen on a sunday and kind of leave straight away from there and go straight to the airport it's an absolute mong show when you get there everyone's a zombie that's coming back to london because they've all been partying as well um all dressed in black looking completely haggard but i've seen flights and usually i pay anywhere between especially with the checking luggage now because most of the um uh budget airlines don't include any sort of like free carry-on luggage so you have to always pay for it and usually it sets me back anywhere between like a hundred to 200 pounds all in right included with the luggage and shit i checked recently and I saw max something of a hundred pounds, one ten. I saw another one go for like eighty. Um, the other day there was another weird random date that I check. It was like fifty five with luggage included. Like the prices are insane. So if you do want to go, it's probably beneficial wherever you want to go. If you want to go to Amsterdam, you want to go to Georgia and other places. Um, it's probably beneficial to try and get your flights booked in now because I'm. 
I'm a big stickler for just getting the flights booked. I think the accommodation, again, certain cities like Barcelona, especially during like stuff like Primavera, it's probably beneficial to get the accommodation first because the accommodation, the good accommodation, there's not a lot around and you don't want to waste, um, you don't want to kind of take too long and then not have anything to choose from and you have to go and stay in some, you know, t some, some places far, far away from the location, from the venue that you're going to. But when it comes to going to do techno tourism in Europe, I try to secure my flights. And if it comes, the day comes and I'm not really ongoing anymore or things have changed or especially with COVID now, the situation has changed in the country you want to go to. It doesn't necessarily feel like much of a blow if you've wasted, you know, under 100 pounds, under 100 euros as opposed to wasting over 100 euros. So if I've booked a ticket and it's like 86 euros or something you know it's okay i can take the hit on that one so i'm really looking forward to it um again the first parties are on what this weekend coming up as i mentioned before with etap kyle freddie k and paramita um saturday the yeah saturday the 10th of july so definitely if you're in the area go and check that out it should be a good time it should be a good time